welcome and or welcome back to my channel so today as you can tell by the title we will be cooking brown stew chicken the jamaican way here i'm just adding in the seasoning and i'm showing you what i'm adding in and yes i did wash and clean my chicken beforehand so now this is just to put the season on and then rub it all in and then I'm going to put it in the fridge for a little bit. So let's just jump into it. I got this feeling like it's starting now, starting now. I feel adventurous with you. And there is nothing that can hold us back, hold us back. We can do what we want to do. Cause we got all the time in the world For better or worse We should stay together So let's stay young and in love We should focus on us Forever Yeah, baby, if you Are feeling like I do We can run away Across the ocean Baby, what you say We can leave today Anywhere we'll go We'll be it's all I'm just cutting up the seasoning that I'm going to use while the chicken is in the fridge just so it could soak in a little bit more so with this now as you can see the peppers were in the freezer so I just take it out it'll defrost in time it does not take long and oil defrost in the pot and then I have the carrot on the side to cut up and then I'm just going to put that to the side once I'm finished and then get the chicken back out and get started. So this step will make your chicken taste like when your country grandmother put our foot in other food and it tastes good this is the step that makes that what we're gonna do is we're gonna brown the chicken before we cook it down there i just put some water in the pot just to make sure it was hot enough and then you're just gonna put the chicken in you're not gonna fully cook it at this point you're just gonna brown it let it has like a little color to it and get a little soak in the juices and then you see I take out the first that you see how it has like those little burns on it that's what you need you do not that it will not be fully cooked until after you put it in the next pot which you'll see I do so here I'm just switching out and putting the next step in So now that I've put all the chicken in the pot and so I'm just going to put the seasoning that I cut up into the mixture and the juice of the chicken and I'm just going to mix that together a little bit and I also put the carrots in as well. Okay, so now that the second batch of the chicken is out the pan, I put over a different pan on that side. And you'll see I'm using the little grease that's left in the pan from frying the chicken because it already has a chicken flavor. So you want to make sure you use that same grease. You don't want to just put new grease. That just does not make sense. So here I'm just putting in the um, seasoning and I'm going to let it brown for a little bit. Let it just marinate. I was telling you, oh my God, the house smells so good. And it was so, so good. So I 
after I put the seasoning in, I'm going to put in my own little creation of ketchup, barbecue sauce, sugar, hot sauce, just like a little sauce that I created. I, I create a lot of stuff, guys. I'm my own little testing, creating person of different kind of stuff. Anyways, um, so I just added everything with some water, and I'm going to add some more water because I want it to be enough water to cover all the chicken. So when the chicken is in it, it's submerged in all the water, and it's soaking up all the flavors. That is a must, guys. Do not have it your chicken outside the pot it just does not make sense not outside the pot outside the gravy just so you can soak it up yes it's gonna cook it down and then the gravy will be less but starting out you want everything to be in submerged into the gravy just to give it the flavor that it needs Okay guys, so grab back your salt. If you don't cook this dish a lot or you're not sure on the measurements because I don't do measurements, you wait to put the salt in at the end after you taste the food so you don't over salt your food. That's a little trick I picked up because if you don't have measurements, you can mess it up the first time. So just to help yourself, put it in after it's cooked down and you can test the flavor to see if that's exactly what you want. And you see how everything is all meshed together. This is now like it's done. I'm just letting the gravy dry out a little bit and that's it. So you could just turn your stove off, eat it with your rice by itself however you want to. In the comments, let me know if you try this recipe or... Is there a different way that you do it? Just let me know down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, guys.